Make some noise, everybody. can't have a good award show without some amazing musicians, and we're lucky to have them here today. And we are lucky to have a lot of famous cartoonists, amazing cartoonists, new cartoonists, puppets, superheroes, and villains as presenters today. So... By the way, his name is Dave Roman. My name is Dave Roman. I am a cartoonist and an author and one of the co-hosts of the Kids Comics Revolution podcast. And my name is Jersey Droz, and I'm one of the co-hosts of the Kids Comics Revolution podcast, and also uh, just an Ann Arbor Comics guy. So, an Ann Arbor Comics legend, if you will. Oh. <laughs> and I'm not even dead yet. <laughs> That's right, but hopefully no one will be dead by the end of this award either, but it may get dangerous, we'll see. Our first presenter of the evening came all the way from Japan, he is the self-titled uh, star of the Naruto comic series. A round of applause for Naruto! <laughs> oh, but wait a second, there's someone with him. Yeah, who's that guy? Don't ask. Freeloader! That's right, everybody, because I'm Naruto, and I'm here to present the award for favorite comic book hero. H hero? What yeah, about hero. a super villain award? <laughs> you don't get it. Can I finish, please? No, I'm going to finish you. Boy, uh, uh, what? Yeah. Hey, look, I have the longest running manga ever, and they didn't even include a category for that this year. And you don't see me complaining now, can look, I look, look, finish? Just, just stop your belly aching. Let's just do the nominations. Fine. Let's the, see. The nominations for best hero. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Thanks for holding that, by the way. It's a peril of a puppet. Your arms don't work. <laughs> <laughs> the nominees are Zia, Lunch Lady. <laughs> yeah, give it up. G Man. <laughs> Spider Man. Iron Man! Ugh. Woo. Ugh. Better than Potassium Man. <laughs> potassium Man. I'll Potassium Man you. And the winner is... The Lunch Lady. All right! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh. Obviously, the lunch yeah. lady was afraid to meet in Vordak the Incomprehensible. What the? So, I'll be accepting the award for the lunch lady today. What? You got it. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to have to do some research to find out who that is. But, in, but well, I guess we got to continue. I guess we got to continue the awards. Um, our next presenter is the author of Legends, <laughs> Legends of Zeta the Space Girl and the original... Zeta the Space Girl, and his daughter, Angelica Hackey. So Ben and Angelica Hackey, round of applause. Wow, I was uh, on the edge of my seat there for a minute. I, I, hope this, uh, I hope this round of awards goes a little more, um, it was a little more safe than the last round. I, I haven't been to an awards ceremony with a supervillain before, so. Is this, this is a little better off, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so um, we're going to present the special award for excellence in drawing delicious looking food. Mm. What a great category. This is fun. Um, what, what, have you read any comics with delicious looking food, uh, Angelica? Hamster and cheese. Hamster and cheese? What, what was in that? That sandwich. Oh, right. Okay, they lose a sandwich and they're searching for it. I was thinking like, do you remember the comic Bake Sale? Yeah. 
uh, by Sarah Baron. Yeah. yeah. And that, like, the, yeah, but the weird thing is all the characters are delicious looking foods. So you, ca you kind of like, you, you want to eat the characters, but you love the, ca I don't know, it's, uh, <laughs> I know. Cupcake. Yeah, the main character is a cupcake. <laughs> what is cupcake? So you wanna, you wanna, you wanna. I know you love cupcakes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wanna see who? You, you wanna see who won? Yeah. Okay, you wanna see? You, you can read first. It. What's that? Oh, Nami's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm losing track of this. This is my first awards ceremony, by the way. Okay, so our nominees are Chinese New Year cooking, uh, that appears in Little White Duck. We have Spaghetti Mountain from Mal and Chad Food Fight. And we have Phantom Ice Cream Truck from Nimu Nimu. Well, how about if you how about if you read off the winner? Can you do that? Can you read off the winner for us? The winner is for special award for excellence in drawing delicious looking food is Phantom ice cream truck, Nemo, Nemo. All right. All right. So, uh, should I just grab that and head on? Who? Where do? I, what do I do next? <laughs> As an award. What's my next move as an award presenter? Well, if you think it's safe enough, I would recommend that you try to grab that award on their behalf because oh, Scott okay. Godra aren't here. Well, well, Angelica and Ben were talking, and I did some research on the internet. Turns out that guy is Vordak the Incomprehensible, a nefarious villain who's been tormenting, you know, the world with all these crazy gadgets and machinery trying to take over the world, and now he's mind. trying to take over our award show. That is not cool, man. That's incomprehensibly not cool. That's, all right, hopefully, hopefully that won't happen again. Our next category is going to be presented by two amazing authors and illustrator. Uh, oh, the next category. Well, it's Grossest Thing Comics. That was by Ben and Angelica. Oh, right. We're supposed to do Grossest Thing Comics. Can we get, can we get, can we get them back? <laughs> Guys, this is our first award show. All right, so this is the second um, award that I've presented at, at, at an award show. Um, I'm hoping that it runs a little more smoothly than my first uh, pre presentation, from my uh, award show presentation. Um, so yeah, we've got the uh, grossest thing in comics. What do we? What do we have? What do we have? Can we do it? It's the big toe of drool. Fangbone third grade barbarian. Yeah. So that's that's pretty gross. I mean, looking up at yeah, the big toe of drool. The next next gross thing in our in our nominees, rat tails from Little White Duck. Pretty gross. I don't know. And the the last our our third nominee is man eating frog monster. Wow, from Reed, Reed Gunther. That's awesome looking though. Wow, those are all three gross things, aren't they, Angelica? Do you have a do you, <laughs> of those three things? Do you have an idea of which do you think was the grossest? Um, I don't know. Maybe the rat tails. I don't know. Rat tails, pretty gross. Let's let's uh, let's see who our victor is. And got some tape going on here. Here we go. And the winner for grossest moment in comics, big toe of drool Aww. from Fango, from the third grade barbarian. All right, let's get that award. Step back, Angelica. That is pretty evil. Yeah, you better clear the sight. That is pretty easy. All right, luckily Ben knows how to use a sword, and he is going to chase down Vordak and try to get those awards back for the people that they deserve, who deserve them, not evil villains. Okay, whew, I'm worked up here. Guys, like a meatloaf. this is intense. I will get my award. Whoa, <laughs> I heard a voice. <laughs> All right, our next presenters are Dan Mishkin, an amazing comics writer, no, best known for Amethyst, Blue Devil, and- Wonder Woman, Superman, these comics present. He knows his heroes. I, I do. And, no. Okay, do you want to guys, in our, and joining him on stage is Tom Zoller. Of Love of, and Capes. Of Love and Capes, creator of the long, awesome series, Love and Capes, and recent writer and artist on My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Twilight Sparkle, yes. right, cool. comic series. <laughs> 
That's right. And do you all know what a licensed comic is? It's a it's a comic book based on one of your favorite TV shows or movies or toys or cartoons. And everybody loves to see their favorite character turned into a comic book, except the writers and artists who have to have the owner of the movie or the toy or the cartoon or the whatever tell them, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Spock's eyebrows go just a little higher, and no, no, he wouldn't talk like that, and no, no, a little more sparkle in that Twilight Sparkle, please. Her leg doesn't bend like that. She's off model. That color is wrong. Things like That's that. That's right. You know, nobody, but nobody would accept my proposal for my little starship, Friendship is Vulcan. <laughs> I, I, I that don't know awesome. <laughs> But the, the nominees for favorite comic book series licensed are Avatar The Last Airbender, The Promise by Dark Horse. <laughs> Adventure Time by Boom. <laughs> My Little Pony by IDW. <laughs> Garfield, also published by Boom. And Sonic Universe, published by Archie. And the kids chose Garfield, published by Boom. Dan Mishkin just got sucker punched by Vordak the Incomprehensible. You saw it here. That is not cool, man. Oh, next man. time, next time I am gonna make him say his trick him into saying his name backward so he disappears into the fifth dimension. <laughs> next up is favorite comic book series original. These are comics created specifically to be comic books as opposed to the licensed stuff. Although this these things can be licensed, turned into movies and TV shows. And I have a book called Love and Capes that's available if anyone has money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are Read Gunther Volume 2 by Shane and Chris Houghton, published by Image. <laughs> Snarked by Roger Langridge and published by Boom. <laughs> the Great Sergio Aragone, Sergio Ar Aragone's Funnies, published by Bongo. Super Dinosaur by Robert Kirkman and Lansing Area resident Jason Howard. <laughs> Published by Image. And our last nominee, Road to Oz by Eric Schanauer and Scotty Young. Published by Marvel. And the winner is Road to Oz by Eric Schanauer and Scotty Young. <laughs> Wow, fool you once. Fool you twice. Oh my god. This this has to stop. I'm gonna all right, we're gonna introduce the next guest and I'm gonna I'm gonna put a message board. Uh, there's a hero message board. I'm just gonna put a message on there and maybe we can get somebody to come and help and stop this evil villain because email me the link to that. I will. I, I miss heroes sometimes. But yes, we have actually our next uh, guest, our next presenter is a hero who's come all the way from the Northern Air Temple. <laughs> That's right, Aang himself of Avatar The Last Airbender. All right, thanks so much everybody. I can't believe you chose Garfield over me. <laughs> He's so old. <laughs> anyway, the category for which I have been chosen to present to you is Best hair in comics. <laughs> well, I guess I know what it's like to be a nominee, and that's why they chose me, because I don't think I know much about hair. <laughs> it's a bald joke. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, enough of that. Let's get on to the nominees. Lunch Lady. <laughs> Marie. From Giants oh, Beware. Giants Beware. Cowardly Lion of the Oz series. 
Hilda from Hilda and the Midnight Giant. Maggie, friends with boys. All right. And the kids chose... Awkward puppet movement. Lunch lady! You realize he's making that a habit now. <laughs> well, I know Aang was non-violent, but I thought he'd at least do some like airbending or something to stop that guy. Well, it was established earlier in the show that the problem with puppets is the puppet arm syndrome of oh, not being able to move man. them. So maybe if he learns, you know, airbending from the eye sockets. All right, I might need to update that post on the hero message board to make sure that you have articulation in your hands. That may be integral to saving these awards. All right, Jersey, who's up next? Who's our oh, next actually, presenter? Actually, I think Aang was going to also perform the cutest comic character, so he gets to come back after we've insulted him for not saving the day. <laughs> Aang, come on back. Please come Don't back. Don't be afraid. Aang, I'm sorry that I said that thing about your arms. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Aang. We love you. Just because I'm short-winded today. <laughs> All right. Cutest comic character. Here we go. <clears throat> Nominees are Baby Mouse. <laughs> Super Diaper Baby. <laughs> Strong Strong from Z to the Space Girl. Bone from Bone. <laughs> Hanisher from Guinea Pig Shop Pet Detective. <laughs> and awkward. And would you want, we, can we get somebody from the audience maybe to help you? <laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs> That's through. That's it's called face bending. <laughs> face bending. The winner is Baby Mouse. <laughs> Good guy, he came back for a round two. Well, it's my cue. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Thanks, Aang. Thanks, Aang. Okay, so we got another category to get through, Dave. This is an interesting one. Uh, favorite, com or favorite comic novel hybrid. What is it? comic novel hybrid because hopefully they'll explain it to us yeah well I, I that think, sounds complicated yeah is I, it a comic or is it a novel or what is a hybrid i hope there's a couple smart guys coming up to the stage do you know who they are we've got john green author and illustrator of the teen boat graphic novel <laughs> Raphael rosado of giants beware and he has a special guest with him his daughter amelia rosado Break it down for us, guys. All right, all right. So, John and Mila, we're here to present the uh, winner for the favorite comic novel hybrid. So, John, what exactly is a comic novel hybrid? Is that some kind of evil creation created in a lab by a mad scientist? Like a Frankenstein kind of creature? What is it? Possibly. It depends on the artist. If they are a mad scientist, then maybe they are responsible. <laughs> but generally, what do you think? What do you is think? Is it like the car that runs on electricity? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You are correct. A hybrid is indeed a car that runs on electricity. That's a but hybrid a comic, that's for good. Not that's evil. for good, not evil. Yeah. But, but a comic novel hybrid takes the best parts of comic books, like pictures and word balloons and action and panels, and the best parts of prose novels, like pages and pages of text. <laughs> And it mashes them all together, and it becomes something incredibly awesome. And so here we are to honor those people that make those awesome books. And what are our nominees? Our nominees are... Big Nate Goes for Broke by Lincoln Pierce. That is... 
Diary of a Wimpy of the a Wimpy Kid, the Third Wheel by Jeff Kinney. Dragon Breath number seven, When Fairies Go Bad, by Ursula Vernon. Captain Underpants and the Terrifying Return of the Tippy Tinkle Trousers by Dave Pilkey. <laughs> Dork Diaries, Tales of a Not So Smart Miss Know It All by Rachel Renee Russell. And the kids chose. Do you want to rip, rip it up? The winner. Oh. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Third Wheel by Jeff Kinney. Throw the kid at him! He got us again. Sucks. Okay. Well, they tried. I don't know. I'm losing hope that anybody can stop him. Maybe all the awards are just gonna get. Maybe should we just give them to all now, or should we, I guess we'll keep trying. Don't give up hope, because you know I'm always looking towards the future with an optimistic eye. And our next category is actually about the future. The uh, the future jerseys. The future <laughs> where comics are turned into bits, where comics are lights, where comics are delivered to little slabs of plastic and glass that we can read anywhere. Oh, you believe me? It's happening. Are you talking about that thing I just heard about? The internet. The internet, yes, and, and the Twitter and the web comics. Oh. Yes. And, uh, My grandma told me about that. <laughs> you gotta go on the internet to get some internet, right? So, uh, for the next guest, we've got one of the four most thinkers on the internet, and he happens to be right here at the library, Mr. Eli Nyberger of AEDL.org. Thanks, Dave and Jersey. How you guys doing? And wait, it looks like Eli's joined by a special guest as well. Yes, this is my daughter, Rocket. She's a big reader of comics, so she's going to help me with these as well. So let's step over just a little bit here. So the interesting thing about, that I love about web comics, because I think they're so awesome, is someday people are just going to call them comics. <laughs> Not web comics, but just comics. But there's some really awesome ones out there. You can read them all the time. And we have a number of great nominees for them today. So what's our first nominee? Nemu Nemu. Nemu Nemu by Audra Furuichi and Scott Yoshinaga. <laughs> Our second nominee is... Nedroid Picture Diary. Nedroid Picture Diary by Anthony Clark. <laughs> Our third nominee is... Q C Cucumber Quest. Cucumber Quest by GGTT. <laughs> Our fourth comic, our fourth nomination is... Ellie on Planet X. By James Anderson. <laughs> That's a great one. Good if you like blue and orange. And then the last nominee is... My Sister the Freak. My <laughs> Sister the Freak by Danny Jones. Okay, are we ready? You want to open the envelope? Okay, the envelope is... The kids chose... We're going to see who the kids chose. Here it is. What is it? My Sister the Freak. My Sister the Freak by Danny Jones! <laughs> Danny Jones is actually here today. <laughs> punched a villain that makes him super librarian for sure <laughs> knowledge is power okay. folks that's all i gotta say so yeah, sorry thank you for rescuing my award <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for all the readers and thank you for holding the show and the awards <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit better now. That was nice. I don't usually enjoy punching, but but seeing a librarian punch somebody is pretty cool. Um, well, we deal with more of that. So we've got another librarian coming up. Maybe he'll punch somebody, but <laughs> but hopefully not his co-presenter because she already has had some dental drama and she does not need somebody to punch her in the face. We've got Scott Robbins and Raina Telgemeier. Um, <laughs> So we have three awards to present, so I'm really hoping we don't have any drama happen. <laughs> what can we do to com what, can we, what do you think we could do to combat the drama? Uh, we could talk about favorite graphic novels. 
<laughs> that sounds good. So our first category is favorite graphic novel, nonfiction, or myth. So hopefully there's, these are graphic novels that you'll learn something. Uh, so our, the nominees are Hazardous Tales, Big Bad Ironclad by Nathan Hale. And the next one is Hades by George O'Connor. Next, Little White Duck by Andres Vera Mart Martinez. <laughs> the Shark King by R. Kyuku uh, Johnson. <laughs> and last but not least, Annie Sullivan and the Trials of Helen Keller by Joseph Lambert. Reina, <laughs> yep. she's going to read the winner. And the kids chose? The kids chose Hades by George O'Connor. <laughs> what am I Oh! What? So what's your favorite graphic novel, Scott? Hmm. I really love Smile. <laughs> I really love that graphic novel you haven't written yet, but are planning to someday. Well, you know, next year. <laughs> so the favorite graphic novel in the humor category, the nominees are Lunch Lady and the Picture Day Peril by Jarrett J. Krasowska. <laughs> Bird and Squirrel by James Burks. Mal and Chad, Belly Flop by Stephen McCraney. Squish, volume number four by Jennifer L. Holm and Matthew Holm. Finally, Dinosaurs in Space by Pranus Naujokatalgemeier. <laughs> And the kids chose oh, Lunch Lady and the Picture Day Peril by Jerrica Krasnoska. <laughs> we are so off our game today, Scott. We keep letting Bordak take the awards. I know. I know. It was all the, it was all those donuts we ate. Yeah. We're in a bit of sugar coma. You so, by the door. Watch him. Block him next time, okay? If he tries to do that again. So the next nominee is for favorite graphic novel, Adventure. So Adventure is when you're going places and you're doing things. It's always great. <laughs> and then a super villain steps in your way and stops you. Yeah. <laughs> so the nominees are, first nominee, Legends of Z to the Space Girl by Ben Hatke. <laughs> Uh, Giants Beware by Rafael Rosado. <laughs> Amulet number five, Prince of the Elves by Kazu Kibuishi. <laughs> Hilda and the Midnight Giant by Luke Pearson. <laughs> and Cardboard by Doug Tenapel. <laughs> and the kids chose. All right, amulet number five, Prince of the Elves. What? Great is a villain too. Oh man, and I trusted her. <laughs> well, so, man, time sure has flown, hasn't it? Yeah, it's almost. We're on our last category. We're on the last category, and this is the big one. This is, you know, guys, we were talking about the future, and to bring out our final award of the evening, we have the future of comics. Three amazing cartoonists that were here at the Kids Read Comics Festival, exhibiting, selling their comics. And they used their imaginations to steal our hearts. Ellie Moody. <laughs> Natalia Eddy. <laughs> and Olivia Komai. So we are presenting the favorite cartoonists, and the nominees are Kazu Kabuishi, <laughs> Jen.
Jennifer and Matthew Holm. <laughs> Jeff Smith. <laughs> Jeff Kinney. <laughs> ben Hatke. <laughs> and the winner is of the favorite cartoonist. Jeff, Jeff Kinney. Kinney. Oh no! Oh fuck, it's uh, Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who's the, wait, who? Hold it right there, Bordak. Who are you? I'm the doctor. <laughs> oh, the doctor is in the house. Doctor Who? <laughs> oh, I've never heard that before. Uh. <laughs> the TARDIS alerted me to a post on a message board about some villainy being done here. Yeah? What's this about award snatchery I keep hearing? It's just a hobby. Oh. <laughs> wait, no, wait a minute. No, it isn't. Should never be a hobby, and we're going to fix this problem now. What the heck is that? It's a sort of screwdriver. Looks like something <laughs> serious. <laughs> You've never wanted to own a sonic screwdriver? What does it do? It sonics things! Like a screwdriver! You mean hedgehog? Well, sort of. Oh, okay. Look, Vordak, I'll make you a deal. You can fly around with me in my TARDIS if and only if you agree to return all those awards to their rightful winners. And then I can undo all superheroes in history. Just, just wipe them out. I'm, I'm in. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh my god, that was amazing! It ended happily, as the all good stories should! <laughs> we put an ad out for Hero, and we got the Doctor. That, that was just amazing. Guys, I, I, I just, I am just I'm floored that we got to see so much cool stuff here today. A round of applause for you guys for coming out and celebrating with us. A quick thanks to all the people who voted, all the teachers who shared uh, the ballot with their students, all the libraries who posted it in their schools, and then everybody who voted online. Yes, and thank you to the folks at the Ann Arbor District Library for helping us tabulate all the votes. I mean, there were a lot of votes. And thank you to the Ann Arbor District Library for putting this show on. How cool is that? And a quick thanks to our friends, Kevin Copa and John Martin. You guys may not know who they are, but trust me, you've seen them recently. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, to the Omatic. The Omatic Second! <laughs> you guys keep your eyes peeled for the awards next year. Ballots will be up probably in May. See you next year. <laughs> <laughs> Presenters, let's just grab a quick photo shoot.